Carly, and if any of you are like me, I have shoes. So let me first show you kind of the setup I had before, which was really cluttered, and you know, clearly it worked for a little bit, but I got one of these really great um, shelves from Amazon. Uh, you're only supposed to put shoes on one of the sides, but I needed both of the sides. So of course I was looking online, and of course saw a bazillion videos and photos on the Billy bookcase, and I was really nervous because I always heard these horror stories about people putting things together from Ikea and how like impossible it was so I always was like no I don't want to do that um, but then I watched a couple videos and I saw how easy it was and then one of the coolest things about this bookcase which I still cannot believe how inexpensive it is it is $49 so that is like insane how inexpensive it is so with that they really get you on the extra shelving so I needed of course extra shelves each shelf is $15 and I thought that is so crazy because clearly I go to Menards and I see like the pre-finished wood pieces for like a huge sheet is like ten dollars so I was like can I cut them can I make my own no you definitely do not want to make your own because each uh, additional shelf comes with these like special little um, things that go inside of the holes which keeps the shelf and it is honestly beautiful and perfect so don't shortchange yourself on trying to make your own additional shelves just don't do it just buy them the shelf is already so cheap so let's just get into the video so you can see how I assembled my Billy bookshelves first step of course is to get the bookshelf so I have that there with the extra shelves that I bought of course the tools you'll need um, screwdriver flathead hammer I definitely recommend using an electric drill if you have it versus using the handheld tools but of course taking everything out of the box organization and getting everything in place honestly pretty easy just like that I have them all separated so I can see it all it's literally that many pieces all right so making them all pretty ready to go um, so separating them all out you will not use these right here unless you decide on attaching the bookshelf to the wall I will not be. Okay, so I have them right here, and of course we'll be using these three boards and this board right here for them. So first you're just gonna put them in these holes, so both of these. And then now for these boards, you're gonna place them in the last holes in all of the boards, front and back. So next is even easier. So now we're gonna be adding these right here to the inner dot right here because the dowel rods will go right here. So you're gonna take your drill, which I feel is easiest, and drill them in, and it goes here in the middle and at the end. Okay, now for assembling. So this side right here is where the back is. So always remember that the clean edges will be going this way. So that's kind of easy to way to find out which way these are going. And then also that the holes here are gonna be like unseen. Kind of put it in here. I'm just gonna drop it in. Kind of just float, you just kind of use a little bit of pressure and it'll sit in there and boom. So this edge is out. These are facing the other one, so they're both going the same way. Just slide it down, rock it in. Now for the last one, um, these holes will actually be facing the top since we're not gonna see them. Put it in this way. So here's what we look like right here. The next, these little cam locks in here, and then we're gonna put that on top of here. Okay, so for the cam locks, which are these guys right here, I used to be so scared of them, but these are so easy. So you will need, of course, the flathead screwdriver option right here. Um, so these are really easy. So basically, since 
as you can see that the uh, screw head is right here, you wanna put it in where it's open, because clearly it wouldn't go in the other way around. So basically the open part, so the, the curved part is up. Then you just take your screwdriver very lightly because it's only gonna make like um, half a turn or maybe just like that. It literally is very light. You don't wanna go too aggressive. That's it. And you're just gonna repeat a the entire way down. Now attaching the other side of the bookshelf. Okay, so now we're just gonna take the rest of these six and put it in this way. This way, of course, is the opposite. Okay, so now she is all done here, and now we're gonna put the back on there. So I'm just gonna flip this to the ground so it's on the bottom. Okay, so the back folds out like this. The easiest way for me, I feel, is if you can kind of slide it on top. It's gonna get a little messy. Definitely get like one side a little bit in if possible. And then kind of like bend it this way. Use the bend to get it in the other way. Next up are the little nails right here. So you're supposed to put six in this side, the middle and the other side. So of course the ends are the easiest to put down because you're not guessing. Now this middle part is what I'd say is the hardest one. Um, of course, I think they have a suggestion of what you can do, but clearly if you, you can kind of just see where that middle piece is right here. And she is officially all done. We're gonna flip her over to put the shelves up. And there she is. So I'm gonna put her in my shoe room now. Okay, welcome to my shoe crib. So definitely there are the other two Billy bookcases that I put together. And just to let you know, uh, for this one right here, I only used two extra shelves. This one I used three extra shelves because I have some shorties down there. And of course, I put the third one there. So I have my extra shelves ready to go. And then of course, we're going to be putting the boots on the shelves. So of course the last piece that we'll use are these little interesting little metal pieces. So basically, um, sometimes I do use a hammer if it's a little tough to put in. I've actually thought about using um, a tension rod and like hanging them. So I may do that, I'm not exactly sure. That's the height and then I'm just gonna push this in. Of course, the little cone is facing up here. And then I'm just gonna do this over here so I can also measure that. Then you're gonna take the magical Billy uh, bookshelf right here and just turn it in and place it in. So let's just put the boots in. Now for the grand finale of my shoe crib. So here we go. And of course, the final installation of the third Billy bookcase. Of course, I had used three bookshelves with six additional shelves. So this is absolutely a shoe dream. And so easy to, um, you know, take off to like reposition if needed. This is literally the most stunning bookcase shelf. In and walking into my shoe room now, I can't explain a greater feeling I'm Absolutely crazy for shoes. But I wanna know if any of you have done this with your shoes, if you have a different configuration or if there's something else that you're doing, like let me know, I am so curious. Send me photos of your shoe room or your shoes or your favorite shoes, I wanna see them. Cause life is short, wear the shoes, have fun, wear the heels, wear the sparkles, like don't let a day go by without being as fabulous as you and your shoes are. And I wanna thank you and we will see you soon. Bye.